The whole formula is act on your highest passion every moment that you can to the best of your ability, taking it as far as you can possibly take it until you can take it no further with absolutely, here it comes, zero expectation for what the outcome should be. Why? Why the zero expectation? I'll tell you. Thank you. You have basically, being a physical being, split yourself into two main components. A physical mind and a higher mind that is non-physical. You need to work together. The physical mind and the higher mind must form a partnership, must form a relationship that works in tandem in order to actually function as a whole person in your reality. But when you allow the physical mind to think that it has to do this and it has to make this happen and it must know how something is going to happen and you get it to focus on all these details, you are giving it more than it was designed to do. You wear it out. You tire it out and you wonder why you get so many headaches at the end of the day and you wonder why you're tired all the time. The idea is to understand that the physical mind is simply not designed to know how something is going to happen. It just isn't. The physical mind is only designed to know and to experience what is happening in the present. The higher mind knows how something is going to happen. When you allow the higher mind thus then to know that and to work with you, the higher mind will know how to bring the manifestation to the physical mind for the physical mind to experience. So here is how the idea, for example, of visualization actually works. The physical mind is capable of conjuring a visualization of your ideal preferred reality. And when you see that visualization in your mind's eye, you get very excited about that manifestation, about experiencing that reality. And the excitement is good, is exactly what you need. But the purpose of that visualization is to generate that feeling, that state of being of passion, of excitement. The purpose of the visualization is not necessarily to come into manifestation as your physical mind has envisioned it. Because your physical mind, what it may think is the most ultimate representation of that reality, what it may think is the absolute top, what it may think is the absolute ceiling to the higher mind is just the floor, just the beginning of what could manifest. And if you simply stay in the state that the visualization generates within you and then let go of the actual imagery and hand that energy over to your higher mind, your higher mind will actually then bring you the manifestation that is actually representative of that passion state, even though it may look nothing like you imagined. It might but it might not. So the idea is to use the energy state to work with the higher mind and allow the higher mind to bring you what it knows you really need that is truly representative of that energy state so that you can be open and willing to accept that no matter what manifests, it is all part and parcel, all a representation of your joy and never will be defined or labeled as an interruption in it or an obstacle in it or a stopping of that joy. Because your physical reality, as we said, is only a mirror. And whatever you define it to be, whatever you believe is most true, is what you get. So it's very important to pay attention to those beliefs and those definitions, for it is those and only those that create your physical reality experience. Because nothing in physical reality has built-in meaning. Nothing has automatic meaning. Everything is fundamentally without built-in meaning. The greatest gift, and I know this sounds strange in your language, the greatest gift creation has given to all of you is that life is fundamentally meaningless. <clears throat> that means it has no built-in meaning. What that also means is 
you were designed to give it the meaning you prefer to give it and the meaning you give it will utterly determine how you experience it no matter how the situation looks because every situation is neutral and can serve double duty and can allow you to experience a positive or a negative effect in your life it isn't how the situation looks that makes the difference it's how you respond to the situation that makes the difference in terms of the effect that you experience so let go of the idea that the outer world needs to change in order for you to know that you have changed just make the change within yourself know that you have changed behave as if you have changed and then you will prove to creation that you have changed because you will be responding differently to the outer reflection even if the outer reflection stays the same that's how it works. Does that make sense to you all? Yes. Remember that all we are talking about here is not only simple physics, it is simple physics. Very simple. We understand that creation is infinitely complex and rich, but it is not complicated. It is fundamentally simple. Were it not fundamentally simple, it could not be infinite. Because if it were more complicated than this, it would fall and collapse under its own weight. In order to be truly infinite and allow for all possibilities, the core, the essence of creation has to be fundamentally simple. Do you all understand? Thank you.